Greetings, brothers and sisters and friends in Yeshua the Messiah. You cannot understand the New Testament of the Bible if you haven't read the Old Testament of the Bible. So what do I mean by that? I would say that most Christians nowadays in popular Christianity for the most part only read the New Testament of the Bible. They don't even think about reading the Old Testament very much. They may have looked at the first few chapters of Genesis out of curiosity and they may have read some of Psalms or Proverbs but most of the rest of the Old Testament goes ignored. If you go back around 2,000 years to the time of Yeshua and the Apostles, think about what was in their minds, what was in their brains stored up. It wasn't public education like we receive. It wasn't the lyrics to popular songs that they hear on the radio every day. It was the Tanakh. And the Tanakh is the Old Testament. T Tanakh is from Genesis to Malachi. Of course, they had, uh, Jews have it in a different order. But that's, they had the advantage of not having their minds pumped, filled with uh, all of the nonsense that we consider to be important as far as education goes nowadays. Think about what they knew. They had heard every Sabbath for their entire lives the Old Testament read out loud. They heard Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and so on. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, uh, Ezra, Kings, Solomon, all about Solomon, uh, Chronicles, Job, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and the Minor Prophets. They heard these read over and over and over again. That's why they knew the scriptures so well. Because that's all they heard and that's their their minds were that's what they that was their that's what they were able to listen to. I mean, think about it, there weren't even newspapers to read at that time, not to mention internet and TV and two hundred channels on cable TV. So in a in a sense they were they had a great advantage. They knew all of those scriptures. But nevertheless, we saw that until Yeshua allowed them, through the Holy Spirit, allowed them to understand what many of those scriptures meant, they didn't understand them completely, but they were still important. If you look throughout the whole New Testament, how often do you see the Old Testament quoted? Constantly, right? It's constantly they're, they're quoting it. Paul, Peter, the other apostles, John and Yeshua himself are constantly quoting the Old Testament. That's what they were talking about. That's what they discussed. That's what everything is based upon. For us to only read the New Testament, I tell you, that's why I think so many scriptures in the New Testament are taken out of context or are misinterpreted or completely are misunderstood. It's because they don't understand the context the Hebrew context of that time. They might be able to glean some understanding or meaning from a parable, an agricultural parable, knowing that they lived in agricultural times. But go back, I'm telling you brethren and friends, go back and read the Old Testament and then read it again and then read it again. Read it as many times so that you personally can say, I know the Old Testament as well as I know the New Testament. How many of us can say that? When you can say, I know the Old Testament and the New Testament completely equally, then I think we'll be in a good situation. I include myself. But to read only the New Testament when all of the prophecies about the Messiah are in the Old Testament. That's why the people said to Yeshua when he was there, are you he, the, the prophet that's supposed to come? Because they knew about the prophecy in Genesis, in the book of Genesis, Genesis given to Moses, telling him that a, pro, uh, a prophet was supposed to come after you. 
The, the prophecies start right in the book of Genesis in the first few chapters, and they continue throughout the whole Old Testament. So how can we understand who our Messiah is if we don't even understand what came before? If there was a change to the way the law was done, or if there was a change to the covenants, then shouldn't we understand the original covenant? How will we understand the new covenant, or a change or a modification to the law, if we don't understand the original law and the covenants? So that's why you have to go back, read it, and read it again, and read it again. If you've never picked up the Bible and you're just thinking about doing it now, I feel completely confident in telling you to read the Old Testament first and maybe a few times through. I'm not diminishing the, the who Yeshua is as our Savior and our King and our Messiah and our Elohim, our God, at all. Of course we need to read the New Testament and we shouldn't go throwing books out of the New Testament like some groups don't believe you need to read the book of Hebrews or they don't think you need to read any books that Paul wrote. This is absurd too. They go to another extreme. But read the Old Testament first. And if you have read the New Testament many times, most of you are believers and Christians, go back and read the Old Testament until you get to the point that you think you know the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. And study the culture of that time and a little bit of Hebrew if you can. I'm not glorifying anything Jewish because I don't think modern Judaism has anything to do with Judaism at the time of Yeshua the Messiah. It's changed completely and now it is as perverted as any other um, modern Christian uh, sects or religions. So please go back and read the Old Testament because you cannot understand the New Testament without having read the Old Testament first.